you're late for the party, rock and roll's dead. You know, like, don't, don't pick up the brush. But I couldn't help it. It's what I'm supposed to do. I didn't have a choice. The 1980s ushered in a revolution for sign making. Digital, electronic, and vinyl mediums make it faster and cheaper to produce, but Norma Jean Maloney isn't interested in building a plastic empire. In tonight's Texas Voices, sign painting with a stroke of sincerity. If you need a sign to follow your passion, this is it. And so is this. Taylor, Texas is the home of animator Tex Avery and the legendary Cowboy Bill Pickett. A man who created the act of taking a bull by the horns is home to Norma Jean Maloney, too. There's something really endearing about finding your way here. Once you start finding your way in Texas, you get it. And when you get it, it's pretty sweet. But it took a long time. She grew up in Kentucky. Her mom had the girls, grit, and a factory job to feed them. It was the hardest time of our lives and the best time of our lives. That's what I grew up with. By now, Norma Jean had a full-fledged fascination. I was just drawn to old signs. I'd just look out the window like it was just candy everywhere. You know, just the mid-century signs that I was seeing back then and the motel signs and the color TV and Sinclair, Texaco, Golf. Just kind of obsessed with it at a really early age. But she still needed the tools until one day it was delivered. Somebody asked me to repaint a window in Kentucky and I'm out there trying to repaint on this glass with this brush in Kentucky when it's like 90 degrees and this guy comes up on a bicycle and he said young lady are you a sign painter and I turned around and I said no and I don't want to be this is horrible and he said I'll be right back and so he rode off on his bike and he came back and he had a quill which is what I'm using right now and he loaded it up on a pallet and handed it to me and said try this and I just pulled it on the glass and it was just like the gates of heaven opened up and I knew right then this is what I want to do. It was just this most beautiful feeling that I had this control and just the way the paint came off the brush and then I turned around to thank him and he's gone. Red Rider Studios was born and Norma Jean Maloney varnished veracity from San Francisco to Nashville like a Picasso John Prine channeling her best blue collar Buddha and then the painting paused. I think when you're coming to a place like Texas and you're not from here, you have to channel your authentic self. She dug deep, was making ends meet as a trucker, but a passion for paint never subsided, and her wife encouraged her to reopen Red Rider in Central Texas. And the timing? On point. There was a new appreciation for nostalgia, but it was always there for Norma Jean. Her unique hand was now in demand, and she finally got a chance to thank her angel with an art brush when a visitor arrived at Red Rider Studios. And I just said, it's you, and he said, it's me. And we just hugged, and I just started crying, and I said, thank you. He changed my life. All right, Jackson. Let's see if you're gonna start. It always takes a few times. It all adds up to 13 years as a Texan and she still has more miles to go on an inner journey. That's the scariest thing I'm ever gonna do, is to write my story. Tell me why. I've had some things happen in my life that have been profound, and um, I'm in recovery, mm -hmm. and I talk honestly about that. I think with what, what's happening in our country right now with addiction, that um, just painting and having a great time isn't enough. I wanna contribute mm -hmm. something I want to share my story and help other people. We'll be sure to update you when her book is finished. You can view more of Norma Jean's art or commission her work on the KXXV mobile app. Texas Voices airs every Monday night and features the artists, musicians, and creatives in our